Noswetha, good evening and welcome to our HE virtual open evening for Accountancy, Business and Law. My name is Alison Southcott and I'm the Head of School for Business and Computing at the City of Newport campus. Before I introduce you presenters and moderator for this evening's event, I'd just like to go through some housekeeping. Remember, your mic will be muted throughout the event, but if you can't hear us, please reach out in the Q&A, which you'll find in the top right hand corner. Please use the Q&A to ask any questions throughout the session, and the session is being recorded for future reference. This evening, we have several presenters from across our campuses who will tell you about the various courses we offer at level four and above. I'll kickstart this with the AAT Diploma Accounting at Level 4 and then Kim Tlewelling, our business lecturer from the new Torvine Learning Zone, will present our foundation degree business studies, followed by Caroline Hacker, lecturer from Cross Keys, who will chat to you about our CIPD Associate Diploma in People Management. And finally, Adam Jones, our law lecturer at City Newport campus, will explain our Silex law qualifications. Our moderator this evening is Sean Parry, business lecturer at the City of Newport campus, who will be happy to answer your questions that you post in the Q&A or direct your questions to one of our presenters. So I hope you find the information this evening useful. And now I'll just let you know a little bit about our level four AAT accounting qualification. The Level 4 Professional Diploma in Accounting course is offered at Colleague Gwent City of Newport campus. And at this level, you'll cover higher accounting tasks, including drafting financial statements, managing budgets and evaluating financial performance. The specialist units that we offer are credit management and cash and treasury management. To be considered for the Level 4, you will need to have successfully completed the Level 3 AAT Advanced Diploma in Accounting or an equivalent. If you're unsure if this is the correct level for you, please visit the website aat.org where you can complete the AAT Skills Check Test or get in touch with us here and we will only be too willing to help ensure that you start at the right level. If your goal is to become an accountant, then study with us here at Colleague Wentz. We've experienced AAT tutors who have industry experience too and will help you successfully complete this level. You'll automatically become an AAT affiliate member and once you complete the necessary work experience, you can apply to become an AAT full member and achieve professional MAAT status. Once approved, you will benefit from global recognition, a range of membership benefits and to use the designated letters MAAT after your name. As an AAT full member, you can perform a wide range of tasks and enjoy excellent job opportunities. You can apply for a license to run your own business as an AAT licensed accountant or bookkeeper. Completion of this course also offers you a fast track route to chartered accountancy status as AAT will give you generous exemptions from all UK chartered and certified bodies. You'll complete the course over four terms, so it would be September 2021 to December 2022. So from September to June 2022, you'll complete the core units and the synoptic. Then from September 2022 to December 2022, you'll complete the specialist units. So you'll sit six online assessments. The cost of the course is approximately £1,800-£1,900 and includes one exam sitting per unit. You'll also be responsible for paying your annual AAT membership, which is approximately £100, as well as obviously books, again approximately £125. We offer several modes of attendance and are likely to have one that suits you. So we offer one day a week or two evenings a week or an afternoon and an evening. If you have any questions, please feel free to post in the Q&A box. Um, Sean, do we have any questions at this stage? None coming through at the moment. 
OK, thanks, Sean. So um, let's carry on. And I'm just going to introduce you now to Kim Llewellyn, our business lecturer, who will go through the foundation degree uh, business studies. Thank you. Thank you, Alison. Hello and welcome. As Alison mentioned, my name is Kim Llewellyn and I am the course leader for the foundation degree business year one at the new Torvine Learning Zone, um, which is also a USW franchise. This is his need graduates who are adaptable with the skills and abilities to put their knowledge into practice. That's why our business degree focuses on your personal and professional development, which is essential in modern businesses. Our course is made up of expert lecturers which deliver six modules in year one. These range from business finance, marketing to, to enterprise business startup. There are then four modules in the second year and one unique element is that it requires a work experience placement. This is an opportunity to get a flavour for a specific field within business. You also have the opportunity to top up your foundation degree to a full um, BA at USW if you wish to partake in the third and final year. Delivery will take place at two campuses. It's Blind Gwent Learning Zone and the Torvine Learning Zone campus, where students can utilise new technologies, prime locations, and they both offer a state-of-the-art um, higher education hub, which is an area that is dedicated to just the HE learners. The teaching team is made up of expert lecturers that are enthusiastic and pride themselves in both challenging and supporting the learners. We offer face to face delivery, which entails independent study, group presentations, exams and live projects. Our groups are smaller in size compared to the USW campus cohorts. This gives us the advantage of assigning a personal tutor that will meet with you once a week. And these sessions are to further your academic writing skills, invite guest speakers and offer pastoral support. The course is enhanced through module specific guest speakers, virtual tours, and we also work with external businesses such as Skills Cymru, Welsh Water and IKEA. This is to allow you to get the full higher educational experience. We have a range of successful alumni learners. These have progressed on to be hospitality managers, event coordinators for well known festivals and enrol on further master programmes. Thank you for listening. I'm now going to pass you over to Caroline Hacker. Hello, and my name's Caroline Hacker, and I'm responsible for the professional qualifications for human resources delivered here at College Gwent. We offer both the level three and the level CIPD qualifications on a part time basis. This evening, I'm going to talk to you about the level five associate diploma in people management. You may know it as the Level 5 Certificate in Human Resources Management, but CIPD have recently revised the programme to reflect um, the present day activities in HR. So the course is for people progressing from the Level 3, or if you have some HR responsibilities, either in terms of managing people or perhaps managing a function. It enables you to reflect on your personal development, uh, professional behaviours and it will also cover areas such as employment relationship management, uh, talent planning, workforce planning, reward and performance and employment law. However, if you don't have the experience to do the level five, we offer the level three uh, associate certificate in people practice and this is a little bit more um, practical is for people who are aspiring to work in HR. And if you would like information on that, please leave your contact details with us and we will get in touch with you. The course is assessed by assignments each of the units and on completing the course, you'll achieve a recognised professional qualification that employers look for in the fields of HR. The cost of the course is £950 for the level five and £590 um, for the level three. And in addition, you need to become a CIPD member. This is paid directly to CIPD and costs approximately £140. We have courses starting in September and January. The level five is for 33 weeks, one day per week, and the level three is for 40 weeks, one evening per week, or in January for 20 weeks for one day per week. 
The course dates and information will appear on our website shortly, but if you would like me to get in touch with you or want further information, please leave your details in the chat. If you'd like to revert, reserve a place on the course, you can do this by contacting our student registration team. Um, have you got any questions, Sean, at all? Nothing coming through at the moment, Caroline. OK, thank you. Well, in that case, then I'll pass on to my colleague, Adam, who's going to talk to you about the legal executive courses and qualifications. Thank you, Caroline. Uh, good evening, everyone. Um, as Caroline says, my name is Adam Jones. I'm a tutor in law at the City of Newport campus. Um, I want to talk to you this evening about higher education courses leading to qualification as a chartered legal executive. Uh, these courses are run at the City of Newport campus. Um, at present, the academic qualification um, to qualify as a, a legal executive is in two parts, involving two years of study at level three and two years of study at level six. Uh, this presentation is aimed predominantly at those who have already gained uh, the level three qualification and are now concerned with their choices of subject um, at level six. Um, if there's anyone here tonight who is interested in level three or needs information about starting studying to become a chartered legal executive, then please let us know and one of the team of law teachers will contact you. Um, as you may well know, um, at level six, you choose the area of law in which you wish to specialize. Um, at Newport, we offer three main qualification streams subject to demand from prospective students. And these qualification streams are family practice, conveyancing and wills and probate. Uh, students will choose one practice subject and then three complementary law subjects designed to advance their knowledge in the chosen area of practice. And um, the law subjects that we currently offer are family law, land law and wills and succession. Uh, in addition to these substantive subjects, students must complete two skills modules, which are client care and legal research. Um, if you're a law graduate, if you are a law graduate um, with a qualifying law degree, you can follow the graduate fast track. Now, um, if you're interested in this, then please provide us with um, contact details and we will uh, be happy to discuss your particular circumstances with you. Um, with regard to assessment, all practice and law subjects are assessed by way of externally set and marked exams, while the skill subjects require the completion of a portfolio of work. Um, depending on your chosen subjects um, and demand, attendance can be either on a Monday, a Tuesday, or a Wednesday evening, or a combination of two of these. Uh, the cost of each law and practice module is £550 and the cost of the skills modules vary from £250 to £275. Um, you, in addition to that, you will be required to purchase uh, study manuals for each module and these cost in the region of £40 to even £60 each. Um, you will also need to register as a student member of the Chartered Institute of Legal Executives, and this costs approximately um, £120 a year. In addition, there will be exam entries for each module, and these are approximately £50 each. Um, depending on your circumstances, um, you may qualify for funding towards your studies and we would be happy to advise you on the availability of this um, should you wish. Um, Sean, are there any questions? Nothing coming through at the moment, Adam. OK, thank, thank you, Sean. Then, um, Alison, I will hand back to you. Thank you. 
Thanks, Adam. And, and thank you all for joining us this evening. And if you wish to apply for any of the courses we've discussed, you'll find the link in the chat box. Or if you need further information, then please contact us via the email on the screen. Um, it may be that some of the courses will be um, showing up on our website within the next week. So, so don't worry if it's not there in the immediate uh, few days. Um, we'll stay online for a few more minutes just in case there are any questions. Um, but then please head over to our support and finance um, and Dioch, uh, thank you for joining us.